Good Sunday morning, everybody. Today's Bible reading is Psalm 21, and the title is, The King Rejoices in the Lord's Strength. This is what it says. O Lord, in your strength the King rejoices, and in your salvation how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire, and have not withheld withheld the, the request of of his lips. For you met him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked life of you. You gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. His glory is great through your salvation. Splendor and majesty you bestow on him. For you make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the steadfast love of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them appear as a blazing oven when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, and their offspring from among the children of man. Though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief, they will not succeed, for you will put them to flight. You will aim aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. Wow. Now, now, this is talking about King David and how King, now David, David was the king back then, and he exalted in God. Now, yes, King David did have some faults in his life. He did commit adultery with Bathsheba and all that stuff, but God restored him. He was a man after God's own heart. Think about that. King David was a man after God's own heart. Now, I love it. You know, when we rejoice in God's strength, he's honored in that. And God gives us strength to do whatever we need we can claim on him. That's what the word of God does. Whenever you're tired or weak or something, what do you need? You need a pick-me-up, right? You need this, the Bible. Have the Bible. The Bible will give you the strength that strength that you need. No matter what. Now, you may be a new believer or you're still a seeker. I want you to continue reading the Word of God. From Genesis 1-1, Revelation 22-21. It's all the Word of God and it's all inspired by God. There's no errors in the Bible. God wrote this book as a love letter from him to you and me. There's some fun stuff in here. There's some bad stuff in here. But it's all from the heart of God. He wants you to. To love this book and trust him fully. 100%. 100% that's what he wants you to do. Okay guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Hit the lovely subscribe button down below. You can click on any one of these other three videos. Guys, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Have a great day. God bless. And remember, you are loved by God. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all.